What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more APCO. I am having such a blast playing this game. It's so cute. It's so fun. And there's just so much to do in this game. Um, we're going to kind of pick up where we left off. If you missed episode one, I highly recommend going and checking out, kind of seeing where we got to. But today, we're going to continue our bee collecting extravaganza and hopefully maybe make some money today, too. That would be really nice. Oh, the bee jokes. All right. So, what I want to start with, actually, is I want to go in here because we just got this verdant bee, purebred verdant bee. I'm going to put that in here because I want this one to become a queen because the only um, the only offspring is going to be the queen. So that one is going to be a queen. So we can go ahead and mix that with a common um, and it's going to be hopefully give us some more verdant bees so we can hopefully get those going. We also need um, I also need some more honeycomb, too. So let's go ahead and let's just grab. Let's see. Four, 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 five lifespan. I can't remember what what are all the things. So lifespan, productivity, and fertility. So the P, the middle number is productivity and lifespan. So if we get higher numbers of these, I mean, honestly, all higher numbers would be great, but higher numbers of these will give us more honeycomb. So it looks like these work just fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these. And all of these, and then we're going to let them go to town on all of these hives. All right, so those hives are going to town. Let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves the next item, shall we? We need the, where's the uncapping bench? That's what we're going to need. We're going to need the uncapping bench. So what do we need for these guys? We need some planks. Let's go ahead and open up our storage here. Let's go open up our sawmill. And... Let's go ahead and make two of those. And then we need, what, 10 planks? That's easy enough. So let's go ahead and craft our uncapping bench. Now that is an item that we're gonna need um, those frames for. So I feel like a good area for this would probably be uh you know what? let's put it right there I feel like it's a good spot and then basically what we can do is we can throw these in there go ahead and send these down like this that's gonna take out one but you're gonna notice it's still like covered in stuff there's a reason for that so we'll grab all those and then that one and that one This is essentially scraping the heavy stuff off. Um, so that gives us the uh, the propolis and uncapped wooden frame. Uh, recipes unlocked, recipes unlocked, capping. Hey, look at that, we get two frames just for uh, doing something. Oh, and cross, oh, the verdant bee, darn it. And the predictor, I need to make those, okay. So now that we have those, we can go ahead and maybe make our next machine, which is I believe it's this, the extractor. Yes. So we've got the stone because we got that from one of our things already. We just need some planks, I believe. Oh, we need to make some glue as well. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and make some glue. We need 10 of those. Oh, we had just enough. Oh my gosh. So, oh, what is this? Oh, mod workbench. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's grab, what is this, the extractor? Yes, craft that. We're going to go ahead and bring this down right next to this. And then from here, I actually want to make, I want to make another large storage. All right, perfect. And the reason I want a large storage is because I want to put it right, like right here with these. So that way we can do everything all at once. So I can go ahead and I can open this large storage up. Um, I could open the uncapping if I need to, and then I could open up this guy. So the extractor, and target that guy. This is going to spin out those frames and give us some uh, good items. Now, this is the chance where we could get like random seeds, or if there is, let's say, a um, like these tr uh, this common bee, the special produce. This is where we could get that special produce from. So we could get sticky pearl. 
we could get um, bee pollen or we could get whatever that is, which we don't know yet. But I have a feeling that we probably will know soon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these back out. And then I'm going to click that button and throw those two in and let those continue on. And then I want this crate, I want this to store everything else. Minus the frames, because the frames are going to go back into, uh, those are going to go back into the, the uh, apiaries over here so we can get more stuff. Perfect, so we got honey rose seeds, goldenrod. Okay, so that's something new. So let's put down a goldenrod there, a goldenrod there, and a goldenrod there. Since that is a new flower type, we'll go ahead and let those bloom and then uh, we can mix and match again. Hey, extracting honey. Okay, so we got um, five beeswax. That gave us a wooden canister. Fizzy wizzy. Uh, now we got honey. You can start putting it to good use to make some apicola. Once you're over apicola, buy a bottle or from skipper to bottle up and sell it. So this is one of the first times that we can actually sell. Um, there's multiple ways to make money. Probably about time you start to think about making money from all your hard-earned uh, produce after all its mouths to feeds, build, pay, forest, rent, do. So let's go ahead and claim that. What is this? Glossy pearl. What do I need a glossy pearl for? I don't know. Microscoping a species three times will unlock the traits for all the bees of that species and it will be visible in the tooltip. That's super handy. Um, okay, so hold on. Let's see. What did I get here? Um, oh, we got the empty wooden canister. Okay, so something else. Actually, hold on. Let's go into here and let's drop these back off. So those are going to go back in there. Oh, what the heck? All right, so those are going to go back into there. Now, what I want to do before it happens is I actually want to make some rain barrels. Uh, rain tank. Oh, let's go see if we can find some of that waterproofing. There, it, there was, for me, the first time I played this, there was some waterproofing on the docks. And the reason you want rain barrels is because eventually you're going to need water for stuff. Uh, and rain barrels are like the free way to get it. So let's actually see. Nothing in there. No waterproofing. Man, last time there was waterproofing in those. <gasps> no waterproofing in any of these. Which means I'm going to have to buy it. Because we need uh, waterproofing. And I'm going to have to sell some stuff. Actually, can we... Glossy Pearl. I sell these. Sell for 10. And buy for 10. Okay, so I needed 10 to make one rain barrel. That's fine. We'll get started with one rain barrel. <laughs> so we made some money. Yay, we made money. Wait, this statue looks like me. That's funny. Okay, so one rain barrel. This is rain barrel, right? Rain tank. Craft that. And we're going to set that outside so that way it can collect rain. Uh, where do I want this? Maybe like right in here. So now what we can do is we can actually put these um, these canisters in these tanks and like they'll fill up. So these tanks are stationary. They can't move. The canisters basically are like the buckets. So you put, put that in there, it fills up. Then you can move that around to go from spot to spot. So nothing super crazy. Swarm root seeds. Swarm root. We already have some of those. So I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so now that we got those done, we got a rain tank. Um, I probably need to go ahead and get some more bee boxes being made. We probably should go ahead and sleep through the night. And then let's see, what else do we have going on for us here? Let's actually look into this. What is this? An infuser. Is that what makes the... Used to infuse wood materials with resin to make them stronger. Oh, yes, that's right. Actually, now that we're thinking about it... I need to craft some wooden taps so we can start getting some resin. I also really want to make this sawmill, but we don't have the, uh, we're missing. Yeah, we need some resin for that. Okay, so let's actually, let's get those going real fast. Okay, so now we have some taps. We're going to go ahead and tap some trees here. Uh, let's see. Which trees do we want to tap? I need to make sure that I forget that they're not tapped or that they're tapped so I don't chop them down. 
We're gonna put one there, 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 and there. Okay. So those have taps on them. So essentially, they're gonna fill up with resin, and then we can use the uh, little tanks to um, to drain them, and then throw those into a like a storage tank kind of thing. Which actually probably takes waterproofing. Uh, barrel. Yep. <laughs> takes waterproofing, which I don't have. Wonderful. So I need a barrel and five waterproofing in order to even make the infuser. That's just fantastic. Hey, verdant bees. Okay, so as you can see, we did get two new verdant bees. And actually, we should have... Where is the crossbreeding? Okay, so we have that. What is it? a predictor? I need to make a predictor. Let's make a predictor so we can get that little thing knocked out. All right, there is our crafter, our predictor. It's so gonna us two more frames. Yay! Uh, and then rehabilitate. When you discover a new species, you'll notice that their conservation status in the almanac is lost. So these are the different um, stages in which we can make them better. As you breed more of a species, you can release them into the wild with a rehabilitator. Releasing bees adds to their conservation status going from lost all the way to thriving. Conserving a species in its, is its own rewards, but you might make a name for yourself if you do. So should we go ahead and make a rehabilitator? I think we actually need some interesting stuff for that. Oh, no, we don't. We just need some planks. That is the rehabilitator, right? Yep. Easy enough. And that'll give us a magazine rack. Ooh. So we'll put the rehabilitator um, maybe over here. So basically, I put a bee in here, and it will just release it into the wild. Okay, so what I want to do is to get more verdant bees. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Another verdant bee. And another regular bee. We're going to uh, get those going, so that way we get more verdant bees. Because that's basically, that's how you make more bees. And then we can crossbreed and get better traits using this guy right here. Oh, there's the goldenrod. Plus one lifespan. Oh, interesting. Okay, and since we have, let's see, we should still have a little bit of stone. Oh yeah, we got plenty of stone left, holy moly. We're gonna go ahead and make some stone tools, specifically a stone pickaxe. Uh, and the reason for that is because we need to harvest these bigger mounds right here, these large rocks. Because there's rocky bees underneath of them. Super secrets. And what rocky bees will do is they actually have a um, their special little trait deal. Is hold on, let's go ahead and hammer this bad boy down. Rocky bee. Their special produce is stone, so they have a chance to generate stone. So those are uh, kind of our little stone farmers. Um, they're also lost rehabilitation wise too. But I'm pretty sure under each one of these, there's a, a nest. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of funny. Oh, that one didn't have a nest on it, actually. Interesting. All right, how are these? Trees fully drained. Trees fully drained. They are all fully drained. Okay, so I need some more waterproofing. I need to be able to... I got some. I got to sell some stuff here. Sells for one. Sells for one. Sells for one. Okay, in order to get some other things done, let's go, let's head into town here. Now, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, there's these guys in town, right? And they have like their houses and stuff. And I need a microscope. So, um, I'm just going to take that, guys. It <laughs> doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Uh, we go ahead and take those common bees. Actually, this apiary. Guess what? Yoink. That's mine, too. Um, I could have took this extractor or that uncapping bench, but I think we're good on that. What is this? What is that? What is that item? Oh, workbench. Saw bench. Anvil. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna steal that micro or the microscope though. That way we can do uh, some microscoping of some bees. So we'll set that there. Let's go ahead and let's look at this. Fertilizer, productivity. 
So it said I need to do three of these. Hey, trace unlocked. So what does that actually mean? I don't know. And then I also don't know what this means either. Cause it's like, there's a second one. Oh, that is the, um, like the blessed bee. We also have an uncommon. There's a verdant. Rocky. I don't know. Let's do uh, three common bees. See what that tells me. Apparently those have already been done. All right, so I want to go ahead and get uh, the Rocky Bee population up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and grab, um, let's see what we got here. Four, 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 five, three, four, fours, three, four, four, five. Let's grab some regular old bees here and mix those, get some Rocky Bees. Well, actually, these are Queens. We can go ahead and just throw those in there right away. Oh, Verdant Bee, Blessed Bee. Oh, that's something new. Okay, let's go check that out under a microscope. So Verdant Bee, Blessed Bee. Verdant Bee, Blessed Bee, and Verdant Bee. That should be all three of those. So it's like the Blessed Mutation from Common Forest Hybrid during the day. Interesting. Okay, and now you can see our Rocky Bees here. They're all sleeping during the day because they sleep at night. They sleep during the day, they don't sleep at night. So I think what we're gonna do on these ones is we're gonna do uh, the Rocky Verdant Bees in these three and kind of see if we can't get a, uh, a mutation out of those. I probably should go through and make some more bee boxes though, because we're gonna start getting all kinds of bees. Um, I was hoping to get some more waterproofing too, but I just don't know if that's in the books for us. Okay, so I need some waterproofing here. Let's see what we can sell. We can sell this. Um, we can sell the sticky pearl. We can sell the beeswax. Because I need to sell that stuff so I can get some more um, waterproofing stuff. Okay, so I have 25. I want to buy all the waterproofing I can right now. Perfect. That should give us enough to get the extractor going. And then we can, or the infuser, and then we can start infusing wood and then start getting um, new recipes for new items. So then hopefully we can get uh, some more machines unlocked as well. So let's get back into here. Let's get that open. Let's get this open. Let's get the saw bench open. All right, so we need some planks and we also need a barrel. Okay, so there's our barrel. And then we need 10 planks in order to get this infuser thing. Perfect. Now that we have that, we should... Let's put that there, let's open this up. Okay, so this is gonna infuse sticks and planks with resin to give us infused planks and infused sticks. So these are infused wood sticks that we need for that. And then wooden cog and infused wood planks. Perfect, that's exactly what we need, okay. So let's go ahead and throw this in there. That's our tree tapper doing its tree tapping duties. Throw that in there. Let's see if I put that in there, that should fill those up. Go ahead and put this tree in there. Should have one more tree, I think. Perfect. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. So those trees are drained. And unfortunately, we can't get our tapper back, as far as I know. Um, I don't think we can. We, well, we might have to test it. All right, so let's go and let's get some planks and some sticks and throw those in there so that way they can be infused. So how many, okay, so for one gear, I need two sticks. And for this, I need five. 
So I need, what, 10 sticks in total. All right, so there's those. Let's go ahead and let's get... Okay, so we do that, and then we also need glue. Oh, no, I'm going to be missing glue. That's okay. And then 10 infused planks. So let's go ahead and get 10 planks. Throw those in there as well. So let's throw the sticks in. Throw the planks in. So that's going to go through and infuse. I wonder how much that's going to take. Ooh, we're not going to have nearly enough. Okay, so that's going to work on that. Now we can make cogs, but I need glue. Uh, oh, you know what? We actually have enough for one glue. But I need five. So that's good. That's not going to help me. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so our verdant bees are done. We have got a lot of verdant bees. Um, we need to we need to get some rocky bees done, though. New recipes unlocked. Check your workbench. I am aware. Thank you. Um, but we need to... Yeah, there's our sawmill. Okay, so the sawmill is kind of like an automated workbench. But you have to, like, spin it up a couple times, but then it keeps going. So you can, like, spin it up a couple times, then it'll just work through stuff. Which is super nice. Um, but let's go ahead and... I'm actually going to go ahead... Oh, you know what? We need more bee boxes, don't we? Oh... Advanced apiary. A large apiary with more slots for frames. Bees and apiaries can be crossbred. What is this? A swarmer. A specialized apiary that sacrifices production to increase offspring produced. Bees and apiaries can be crossbred. Oh. What does this take? Is that infused? Oh, yeah. We're not going to be doing any infusions right now. But we do need a bee box. So. 10 logs, 10 planks. And then we need the chests. Planks, logs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make up some of those. I am actually almost out of logs. Oh, no, I'm not. We got a whole bunch right here. Okay. Okay, so there's two more apiaries. Or two more bee boxes. So now we can go ahead. Let's see. We've got verge. So let's go ahead and throw verdant. In these, wait, what? Oh, that was a forest common. Okay. So there's verdant. So I, gosh, we almost need to make bee boxes for like the uh, the hybrids too. Oh, look at, there goes our bees. There they all go. Oh, they're so happy. They're so happy. <laughs> these are all little rock bees. So they like to work at night. So we're going to let them work at night. Let them do the thing. So that way we can, uh, we can get some more rock bees. And we can crossbreed the rock and the verdant. And see what we get from those. Ooh, it's exciting. And then I suppose... I'm, almost, I'm getting a little low on logs. Maybe we should go ahead and make a stone axe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone axe here. There we go. Okay, I'm actually kind of curious to see how long the stone axe works. So, stone axe. Just gonna bring that up here. Let's go try this bad boy out. Because I kind of want to clear all this stuff anyways. Oh, it lasts, it lasts a good little while. I'd say it probably has, what, at least twice the durability of a wooden axe. Maybe even three times. I guess I could have saw the durability, huh? 450 versus... I don't even know what a regular axe was. <laughs> okay, there's something going on here. What do we got? Wood wall. Oh, we got some waterproofing. And some stone. Heck yeah. Uh, and I'll take this chest. What do we have in here? So these are all forest bees. I'm going to take that. I'm going to leave the beehive here for now. I'm actually on the search for uncommon bees. Because that is the one... That's another bee type that we don't have yet. And I, I know the uncommon ones you just find. Now, there's this also this little place over here. I don't know what it is. Um, So, verdant bee discovered. But there's also two... Oh, vibrant. And then the uncommon. So, the uncommon is the one I'm trying to find right now. And they, we should be able to find a hive. With them in it well that's how i did on my first time playing and it should just be like blacked out and we shouldn't be able to see it 
Ah, here we go. Are you an uncommon? Learn more. Yay, uncommon B. Okay. Awesome. We'll go ahead and take you. I'll take you. So that'll get us a jump start on the uncommon bees. Now from there, I don't know if we can find the other ones or not. You can just hover over it and see what the queen is, huh? That's pretty cool. So now if I go into here, yep, uncommon. So we need to get the vibrant and then I don't know what happens in here. Discover these three species to unlock this gate. I don't know what that gate does. Oh, all of our Rocky Bees finished. Awesome. Okay. So since those finished, let's go ahead and let's get our uncommon queen out. So we can start getting some uncommon. Uncommon. What is this? Forest common. Okay, we'll go ahead and mix that up. That's fine. But now, hey, look at that. Rocky Bees. So many Rocky Bees. And it's about daytime. So let's go ahead and throw some stuff into storage here. And then we need to grab out verdant bees. And then we're gonna place these guys in here. So let's do verdant rocky. Then we're gonna do rocky verdant, right? Did I do that different? Verdant rocky, rocky verdant. We'll do another rocket bird. Why not? Okay. So now those are all doing their things. Oh, so the rocky verdant is sleeping during the day. But the verdant rocky is not. So the primary trait of the verdant is sleeping in the second. Okay. All right. We're, I, see, I see how it's going here. Oh, it's raining. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Can we make another rain barrel? Let's see if we can get another rain barrel in here. Rain tank. I need some planks. Craft. Perfect. I throw that right next to this one right here. We need the rain. Actually, if I bring that in here, hit that once more, we can make another one. Perfect. So now these will start storing rain for us, which we're going to need in the future because I don't know how long it rains for. Now, since it's raining, these bees don't like rain, so she's not going to do anything until the rain stops. But it doesn't look like the lifespan goes down while it's raining, so that's good. And then you can see the flowers that they're, uh, they're pollinating on right now. So we have that new goldenrod, so hopefully maybe we'll get another new flower type um, as they cross-pollinate with those. So these are all the same. All right, and with that rainy day, I feel like that's a good spot to end this episode. Uh, next episode, we will uh, see the fruits of our labor here with these bees, kind of see how that's going, and um, yeah, maybe get into some some cola making stuff or infusing. Actually, how is the infusing going? Oh, we got all the stuff that we needed to infuse. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to tap some more trees and get some more sticks so we can get the uh, the sawmill going. That'll be a next episode kind of thing for sure. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.